Hello everyone and welcome back to round 5 of the iRacing IGP series where this time round we head to Mugello. Yes, a one-time IRL Formula 1 track. I was really looking forward to this one coming into it, um, but it turns out this car is way more understeery than I ever was expecting. I'm also now trying to live stream these races on the channel, so Thursday nights, come check it out. It's good fun. We, we enjoyed it last week, so if you wonder why I'm talking about random stuff, um, that will be why. But yeah, 59 laps ahead of us ready for this race. Really am looking forward to it. So yeah, let's try and do this thing. Alright, let's try and survive. That's all I want to do here, is survive. P2, the track temp is 28. The air temp is 21 Celsius. Okay mate, get ready. Green, green, green. Oh, I have not started well, as I said. So, Ben will immediately get past me on the run down towards Turn 1, but that doesn't worry me. Clear left. Nice and easy in towards that first corner. Clear Everyone left. around Clear me seems left. to be on softs, which is good. Yeah, normally I start on softs simply because I just don't know how far they'll go. Um, and it kind of just means I'm not trying to do a strategy. I basically just go in with that strategy in mind. And it seemed me all right so far. Car That's left. not the line through there, sir. Clear left. Um, but yeah, also the other big thing early on is avoid instant points. Can you go all the way out there? That seems brave. That mark to spot your apex, uh, sorry, spot your breaking point into there is not good. Keep it out of the wall. Oh, very close. Oh. Don't overcook the tyres. And certainly now we've got a lot of work to do. And I get a slow down as well, of course. Try and get the slow down dealt with. Down a bit if you don't want a penalty. I think I just got over the curb there, but El Pain, yep, yeah, a Ferrari move. Bottle job 212 strikes early. Yeah, we'll have some slipstream off you, I suppose. Uh, where are we down to on lap one? I think we're about P14. Oh, do I make it three wide? Still there. He's still there. Right side's clear. He's going very too early. Oh! Uh, what is that? <laughs> Oh, we got another one gone as well. Everyone's falling off the road now. Everyone's joining me. That was my Latifi moment early on. I think... I don't think... I think I've spanned in basically every race so far. At least once. I might not have in round one. No, I definitely did at Nerve. I think I've spanned every race so far. I just can't adjust the cold tyres at the start. I think that's going to immediately promote me all... Well, yeah, definitely back inside top ten. Say, I'm like I said, just happy to keep it out of the wall, to be honest. Because I think, yeah, we just dropped it over the exit of that curb. And that's what tipped us around. Uh, but we know we got the pace over most people. Say, so we did quite a big recovery last time out of Suzuka. I've, I've, I've created a new generation of bottle jobs. They're all here on iRacing. The leader has just done a 21.2. A little bit of lag from this guy. Try and just right. get around him. Still there. Hopefully he'll see that I'm on the softs and won't worry Hold about it line. too much. Still there. Hold your line. And he inside the T1. He's still there. Give him a little Clear bit right. of a squeeze. More make it happen. Beautiful. Nice one. Ooh. There's almost a celebrate making that move. I was about to stack it. Uh so this series is C license. Uh, D4.0 is all you need. Uh, it's not the normal IGP series. That's like the 25 or the 50% races. The 100% series is uh, C license, basically. Which I don't think is such a bad thing, to be honest. Although occasionally when you get taken out by some C license new with 600 I rating, it's frustrating. Uh, 
Uh, cryptic, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Urban in the gap is now 0.4. Forza Motorsport looking race. Forza would have just have cars driving at each other everywhere. Which I suppose turn one, lap two was like that, but. Oh, make sure I hit the right DRS button. So the DRS in this car as well is quite powerful. As you're now seeing. What on earth are you doing there, sir? He's, you pulled alongside him with the DRS and immediately go and try and take him out. What are you doing? Why are people like this? I get alongside. I just don't want to take any risks early on. You can ask me a wild question whether I answer it or not. It's a different story. Left side. Uh, come on, bro. I'm having to drive really, really cautiously around this guy at the moment. Yeah, it's the opposite to the real Merc. Like, this thing gains way too much in the slipstream. People have said it forever. On your left. Hold your line. Clear okay, left. we'll make that happen. Luckily, I'm still in the DRS of the guy in front. Nicely done. So we're eight tenths back. I mean, he's had a terrible run, but we still should get him. All right, let's go, 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 go. I mean, look at that. Right side. They definitely right overestimated that. It's a little bit scary early on. Like, you, you do kind of work out. Obviously, there are already some people that I can trust in this. Um, but kind of, yeah, you want to give everyone a little bit more room early on. Cold ties, everything like that. And a lot of people are definitely still learning what's going on. Um, I mean, at the moment, Cryptic, I've got every single video pre-scheduled to last me to the end of F123. But I'm always looking to try and get more people on streams and things in the future. Yes, yeah, some of the some of the lines are suboptimal. But again, obviously, a lot of people are kind of going into this with just the idea that they want to get to the end. Um, so it's kind of all right when they just kind of let you buy. Um, but sometimes, obviously, they just aren't interested in that. So again, we get way closer to someone through the final corner. He'll get on the power slightly early. Uh, Bradson was here at the start, um, but I think he said he was busy tonight. Whee! Clear right. Clear right. What lap times am I doing now? I'm running pretty close to top times. Nice move, mate. Turn 1, I feel, is way slower than I was expecting. But I guess that's obviously grand effects. All the downforce comes off, and then you've just got nothing. The gap to Walker behind is now 0.9. Like, to be fair, whenever I do look back through the instant reports from these kind of races, it's not actually many people taking each other out. A lot of the time, it is just spins and finding walls. So you not to say that every race is perfectly clean, but I don't think I've made. Mu I say I know I had a crash at Suzuka with someone, but I don't think I made contact with anyone anywhere else. Might have had a couple of zero X's. I run 104A, I normally on F1. Benjamin, welcome what in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Seems odd calling you Benjamin, but... <laughs> I'm going to cook up a comeback that even Gordon Ramsay would enjoy. I did that at Suzuka last week, to be fair. A couple of weeks ago. I got a decent podium out of it in the end. Like, I think every race I finished, I had a podium. Which, to be fair, is only three races that I've survived. Uh, but I've only done four, and VIR, I stacked it from what should have been a podium. Uh, which was very annoying. I gifted James Early a big result, though. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. The gap 
lap two. Late heat in front is now 2.5. But say, I reckon, yeah, I don't know why dreams of a podium shouldn't happen here unless I do bin it. I've already recovered pretty nicely early on. So we're on can see P5 right there. I think we're setting quicker lap times than everyone bar the leader. It's just how powerful the DRS is. Uh, we're setting 21s at the moment. VIR is awful in this car. It's normally quite a fun track, I agree, but in this thing, it's awful. Jamie's quiz, yeah, today was hilarious. Oh, someone's gone. And that's us up in... Oh, and another one's gone. <laughs> It just, it's never just one person bins it. It's always got to be at least two. But say, it is just those little moments you have where you think, oh, someone else has gone. Oh, wait, I'm joining them. So we're almost back to P4 then already. Perhaps I just spin early on to make my own life more interesting. Captain now, 0.9. Yeah, we should get DRS. It's just how patient you have to be with this car as well in some spots. I do quite like the fact that we're here it's only one DRS zone. Just because of how OP the DRS is. I can say, yeah, this should be fairly easy. The inside. Oh, he's on mediums to be fair. Clear right. P4. Makes more sense. Uh, so yeah, we're running quicker than basically everyone bar leader. Nice pass. And that is still actually Evans, so we'll see what his pace is like over a longer run. Um, but I think the other big thing as well, of course, in these cars is just how much you look after the tyres. You know, it really does pay to be smooth, avoid lockups, that kind of thing. As thank you, sir. But say around here, of course, the tyres do take an absolute pounding. And it also could be a little bit odd with the way the ERS works when you're trying to chase good laps. So if we can get him out of DRS immediately, that'll be good. Oh, there we go. First 1x of the day. Track limits. Watch those lines. It's not going to help me out. We still got him at the DRS. Mighty close. Uh, crap. Thank you for the follow, mate. Welcome on him. Spin for content. <laughs> Read chat and veer off into the wall for content. The thing is, there's nothing wrong with being slow. Or slower than other people in a race. It's as long as you're sensible around them. Like, it's when you've got people that are... You know, I've seen a couple of people so far this series that have, like, lost their wing and things like that. And then, like, the rear wing. You're kind of like, well, then just give it up. But, like, if you're, you know, sort of four or five seconds off the pace, you're going to finish a couple of laps down. But you are just learning. As long as you get out of the way of people and are predictable. I've kind of got no real problem with it. As I finally remember to remap my, um... Windscreen, wind uh, visor tear off, which took me way too long, but I finally did it. It was only because I knew people would yell at me on stream. Hey, thank you very much, mate. I am on YouTube, I'm on TikTok, I'm everywhere. My girlfriend, bless her, she says when we're not together, she can't escape my face. It's awful. F2 cars at 7 p.m. GMT. What day is that? I like the F2 cars. Yeah, I, I understand that as well, though, Swift. 
Like, it, it can be very demotivating. Your lap time was at 122.5. Sector 1 is 0.8 off the pace. But say, I always think in this kind of race, to be honest, most of the time, I don't even look. You know, I know obviously I'm comparing myself to other drivers at the moment, but 90% of the battle is just getting to the end. And it's kind of wherever you end up from there. You know, like I said, as we've already seen, mistakes will happen. Things like that. Okay, a little bit of sun poking through. Now, seconds. Ooh, panicked there. Just broke a little bit late. So I think we should hopefully be able to get in the DRS soon. Um, but, yeah, I think if we can get these tyres sort of to lap 25, then hopefully mediums to the end should be viable. But I'm also not too afraid to two-stop these races. Saturdays. Oh, I can't do Saturdays, mate, I'm afraid. It's only one hour different. Exactly every race you learn. Oh man, again, Gran Turismo is one of those other ones that I'd love to get back into. And I know I said this year I was really going to try, and it just hasn't happened. And I'm gutted, because like the World Series and stuff's come back up, and of course, yeah, I'm not going to stand a chance. But I would love to give it a go. That'll have to be one that, once the girlfriend and I got a place, then hopefully I'll be able to get back into. The gap ahead is now 1.5. Oh, struggling a little bit with those fronts. Say so we might have already chewed through these tyres a bit quicker than I was originally hoping. Nice through there, though. It should be within the one second. Nice free little bit of speed down the straight. So, leader just did a 23-2. What are we going to be able to do? Hey, thank you very much, Cryptic, mate. No worries. Have a good one. Yeah, look at the speed. I mean, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? We gain nearly a second on him. Still there. It's gonna hold Still it though, around the outside. Clear left. But it hasn't quite got the awesome. grip. Well done. So back to the podium place as we go then. Bottomed out over the curb there. That was awful. Away from the guy behind. The gap's now 1.2 seconds. Can we get inside the range of Ben? Oh, it's going to be close. I don't quite think we're there. No, not quite this time. Get way in that range off the corner. Oh, he's in the pits already. Uh, latency equals ping. Thank you for the follow, mate. Welcome on him. So that's a very, very early stop from Ben then. B2. We're currently setting the pace. It's good to hear. We're setting the pace. I feel like a lot still about this car is actually not leaning on the engine brake through the corners, leaving it in the high gear where you can. Can make up so much of a difference. So Ben now will likely undercut me. The gap to Alexander ahead is increasing. It's now 12 seconds. Let's see, if we're one stopping this, then we might have a good chance. The thing is, I don't really want to pit now anyway. If I can if I can get sort of close to lap 20, then I'm okay pitting and just kind of doing three cents of 20. Oh, it's 
second X. Or fourth X even, but you know what I mean. Track limits. Yeah, we might end up having to do sort of three 20 lap stints. Go soft, medium, soft, so we're quick at the end. Uh, Zigo, welcome on in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we seem to definitely be quicker than ever, though, at the moment. He says that lap we lost a tenth. <laughs> So I believe... Oh, uh, don't rejoin. Thank you. That's quite scary. I was about to say, I believe if you're within a second of a lap car as well, you still get the DRS. Um, but that's not going to happen now. Keep it within the track limits. I've also got no idea how to slow down into the pit lane here. I don't think I've ever done the pit lane at Magello. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, toast, man. That hurts. That really hurts. What did I do that in a few days ago? I missed it. Oh, that was it. Co-op on Monday, wasn't it? I ballsed up the strategy there. Okay, so Evan's in. I think. Or a span or something. The leader, no, he's in. Alexander, is pitting. So, iRacing will keep saying Alexander. I keep calling him Evan. Uh, iRacing likes to use people's surnames. Try till the tyres explode. I like the idea. You're in the lead. Alright, so we're up to the lead then. So that's very interesting that no one has been able to take these tyres. So I reckon if we can go to the end of 19, um, then we should be in good stead. Even if, uh, even if we only go end of 18 or something like that, and then try and take the second stint to just over lap 40. Oh, no, that was not good. The answer late heat behind is now 10 seconds. Yeah, we seem to have hung on to the tyres, I think, a bit better than most. But I think that's ultimately often been one of my skills so far this season. And just because I like to feel like I'm pretty smooth driving this car. I mean, we've only had one real lock-up, and of course, yeah, we did spin. But even then, we were pretty good at not actually doing too much through the tyres. Yeah, everyone else's pace is falling off, but we're still running pretty well at the moment. I mean, yeah, that was a 23.5? 23.2. So we're still hanging on in there. If I was running like 24s, then I'd be more worried, but... Oh, I don't need four through that. But this is what I mean about the using a high gear in a lot of places. You can actually find that if you're using a lower gear, you actually do more understeer in the car. Um, and that obviously hurts your tyres more and makes you slower all at the same time. So it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. Um, but it feels like once I've kind of done a few practice laps around most tracks, then I kind of get my eye in with that. And you would obviously expect that in a sort of a lower split that some people might just simply not be able to get over that mental hurdle. Like through here, I was taking it third gear all practice. That time was very understeery. But once I kind of learned it was fourth, it was quicker and it required less steering input. Like you don't need to go below third gear around here anywhere. Even though there's quite a few corners where you could. Oh, we've got a bot chat. Who wants to drop the ban hammer? I mean, why are people... Oh, I thought I've read that as best Fortnite viewers for some reason. I mean, the modern gen of cars do feel understeery relative to the old generation of Formula 1 cars, but that's, of course, especially at low speed, because you haven't got as much downforce. 
Obviously, high speed, yeah, they're not... They're fairly comparable. Lower speeds, the slower you're going, the more understeery these cars feel, relative. Ugh. Yeah, we're definitely out a bit sooner. So you also want to try and pit occasionally to avoid some slower traffic, but I'll wait and see. The gap to late heat behind is now 11 seconds. Like through there, you would have think a lot of people might be having more issues with locking. Is he going to let me by? No, in a word. That's not a very helpful, sir. Thank you. Oh, so Roger did a good time. There's no mods. I thought I modded Utos. Or does that mean you can't vote and stuff? Is that why we didn't mod you? Maximum to Fortnite stream when? I played Fortnite about twice. No, no, we got... I think we've still got about 14, 15 people running. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. You're two tenths off the pace in Sector 2. Sector 3 we'll is box this lap, chat. off the pace. I'll we'll box this lap and try and go to the end of 40 on the mediums. Uh, yeah, I think we've still got 14 cars running. No idea how much Kirby can get away with there, but it, the answer is definitely a lot. Someone subbed on YouTube. Oh, that was Crypto. Or Cryptic, even, sorry. My thoughts on the F124 mod. Should I get it for F123? Yes, absolutely. It's a really simple install. It's a nice little refresh, would recommend. Right, where have I got to stop? There. Way earlier than I was expecting. That's... Black flag. We'll need to pit to serve the penalty. So I don't know if we'll be able to serve the penalty now. I think you do serve the penalty now? That... <laughs> that is an early pit lane here. But at least we know. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Right, hopefully we'll take... I don't actually know whether you take the pen now. I don't think we can. Oh, no, there we go. We are. That's alright then. So we don't have to come back through the pits. So Evan's already out ahead of me then. Um... Benjamin will get the jump. A couple of others are going to get the jump. But we're on a much better strat. Uh, Uncle Girth. <laughs> Odd, dodgy name. But thank you for the follow. All clear on pit exit. A nice and easy on pit exit. Never want to risk that. So we're back in 7th then. So it's actually still fairly tight at the front. Um, but now, obviously, we should basically have fresher tyres than everyone else to the end. So hopefully we can make this work. But, so, I've got no idea how the medium is going to feel early on. My guess is understeering. Unless your surname is actually Girth, then fair play. Alexander is now in the lead. Oh, I see. Notice it through there. No, I wouldn't be out ahead of Evan without... Uh, it would have been close with Evan, but I wouldn't have been out ahead of him, I don't think. Front is now 9.1. Say, we're only 15 seconds behind uh, Benjamin. And I think, to be honest, they all have undercut me by a little bit. But it's not race ruining or anything like that. I think we can make most of that back up. Say, we're 23 seconds behind Evan, so... I mean, we're going to be out a little way behind him anyway. Uh, no, it should transfer onto any current career mode. Because obviously, there's none of the internal stuff like that has had to be changed at all. I believe everyone is on a two stop, including myself. It's now 11 seconds. Sixth place. So now, basically, we just want to reliably be quicker. I mean, you always want to reliably quick, be quicker in a race anyway, but. That's the goal we're going for. Oh, easy. Uh, Damix, thank you for the follow, mate. Welcome on him. Hope we're having a good one. Get rid of another boy. 
visor. I don't know if you're limited by how many visors you can take off. Uh, the guy ahead of us is Walker. Well, you've gained another spot. <laughs> I, you noticed that chat, George Russell-esque. I didn't lift. Get me foot absolutely to the floor. He went off in quite a dramatic way there. I was going to say, he was a long way off the road. Considering how quickly that gravel trap stops you. That's quite impressive. I guess as he flew. Right, this is going to be a decent lap though. Yeah, I, I stream on Twitch from time to time, Damix. Monkey King, welcome on him. Loving this, mate. This is perfect. P5, you've just done a 121.1. Walker behind is pitting. Well, this is the thing, of course, for F123 and F124 mods. Um, is obviously, you don't actually have to change much database wise. Obviously, you can change the team names, that kind of thing. But obviously, all the drivers are identical, so it doesn't really affect that at all. Uh, Mobin, thank you for the follow, mate. Welcome on him. Halfway there, yeah. You're gaining on this guy. The gap's now 4.7 seconds. Ooh, that was committed. So yeah, we just almost set new fast lap of the day, despite the fact we're on mediums. Obviously, fuel burn is helping that, but we are still quick. So I don't know kind of what to stop everyone else is going to do. I believe. Um, Lee's going to be able to do the same as us. Because obviously he just basically tried to go one lap longer than me. Walker split times. Yeah, I don't know. if He might have been on... I think he was on mediums. But I don't know for sure. Let's say give it another lap or two. We might be with Victor. Sausage curbs are lethal. Yeah, I did. Basically, well, this is why I like to start the race on the softs. I'm always kind of there going, then I've got a little bit more forgiveness by using the soft compound tyre. Um, and then when I go onto the mediums, obviously I'm already kind of settled in, hopefully. Um, that's kind of why I do it, because normally, actually, for me, it probably I'm not maximising the car enough that it makes much difference. This guy gets out of the way. Thank you. Oh, are we going to be inside the range? I think we are. It's wonderful. Even if he decides to peel into the pit lane, we'll have some DRS. This track is very good fun, but I do wonder how well it would cope in actual Formula 1 again. Like, the real-life race here was saved by the fact there was, like, six gazillion red flags. Um... Like, there wasn't actually much on-track battling. Although, I suppose his front straight works well for it. Look at this. We're the Mental pace. speed. Car left. left side. And if you go Car down left. the inside like that, T1, oh, always just break a little bit early. Because there's pass. nothing the Garni outside can do anyway. There simply isn't enough grip. Unless the tyre delta is massive. Or, as we saw early on in the race, um, you're just a lot quicker, naturally. Sink here through there works. See, when the sun comes out, it's just that little bit more grippy. You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 1.4 seconds. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely taking time out of leader, though, which is good. So I think that might be Evan's thing. He's quick, but shreds his tyres. So yeah, that last lap we were 1.2 seconds quicker. Bradson, welcome back, mate. 
What's the lap time is that? Is that a 20? Yes! First one minute 20 of the day. Happy with that. I reckon if I absolutely nail the lap on the softs towards the end, we can go 119s. But we've got a long way to go before we're thinking about that. take that first bit flat, it makes the others very scary and not quite flat. So I'm definitely better off lifting through the first part. But say, the Arabiata corners are so fun. Those two that are always flat in this thing. Absolutely mental. Like, especially through the second one, where obviously you just get the huge decompression. Sorry, through the first one. I mean, it's a great track to hot lap. Maybe not the best circuit in the world for racing, but it is great. The car ahead's pitting now. It's definitely better than Monaco, yeah. That's not that difficult, though. The time was 121.9. Sector 1 time is good. Sector 2 is 0.5 off the pace. Sector 3 time is quick. That's how you spin through turn two, for those wondering. You nick that curve on the inside, it just bounces the car. Oh, we're back up to P3 as well. This point it's always a bit difficult to try and keep up with who's pitting when. Um, but... I think if we can be oh, back up with Evan before he pits, I'll be very impressed. That's still 16 seconds. Oh, not quite DRS either. That's annoying. Next lap, though. And now I've just got to remember next time I pit just to break way earlier. Yeah, the sausage curves here are evil. Sausage curves and modern Formula 1 cars shouldn't be a combination. Like, I get that obviously something needs to be done to stop people obviously taking ridiculous amount of curves in certain places. But I just don't feel like sausage curves are the answer. Like, if you don't want people cutting the inside of that curve, put gravel on the inside of that curve. It's pretty simple. At least in my mind. You've seen as well, chat. Shanghai now, on the exit of the final corner, has a gravel strip before the runoff. Like on the outside. I think that's a really good idea. That's going to catch people out all weekend. I don't know whether it's me or Ben that's lagging, but there's certainly a little bit of connection issues between us. Towards turn one now, though. Just gonna give him a very wide berth, though. He says he slipstreams right, right into his gearbox. Clear right. Yeah, well see how much of an nice advantage you gain from that. It's pretty mental. The fact that we've almost got him out of the one second zone immediately. Not when I drive like that, though. Oi! You didn't want to do that, sir! Why is that? Why rejoin like that? <laughs> I don't know if he's had a steering failure or what. He just rejoined into my side of the road. That could have been GG. I think he might have... No, I don't think... He can't have gone netcoded for it, otherwise it would have shown up, but... Behind 
I'm looking forward to Shanghai, but I'm quietly looking forward to it. I feel like all this hype around the track having no grip and stuff, everyone's going, Istanbul 2020, it's on. Will it be? Or will it hopefully just be a decent race? Shanghai often delivered bangers before it obviously was removed. Um, so I hope it will go back to that. <clears throat> Thoughts on it being a sprint weekend? Oh man, <laughs> we've ranted about sprint weekends this is for way too exactly long today. Like way too long. I still struggle with the idea of them. Like I don't mind them when you're at like a race, for example. When you're at an event like Belgium last year. I mean it wasn't a particularly great sprint race, but it was still nice to have because it feels like you're getting a bit of extra value for your money but from the tv side of things and of course this is only you know a european problem but in somewhere like shanghai of course for a sprint race anyone really going to be getting up in europe not convinced at least not in western europe i suppose eastern europe it's like 6 a.m but yeah all the show hype for quite it won't be p14 steak or butcher the stops It'll have the pace for, like, P12, but it'll end up being P18. Because kick, steak, sour, whatever you want to call them, don't know how to change a tyre. Oh, that was way too early. Exactly. People will wake up, watch qualifying at 8. Oh, I forgot we get sprint qualifying tomorrow morning at half 8 in the morning. I'm looking forward to that. That was a, a 22.5. So we are halfway through this race now, ladies and gents. It is a very quick one. fall through that. I thought I did one more downshift for some reason. The gap behind's increased to 6.2 seconds. I think what I enjoy most about driving this car on this game, though, relative to the F1 games, is actually just how smooth you have to be. Like, you really do roll on the power, roll on the brakes gently steer you into a corner. When is Alpine bringing a big upgrade package? Uh, when Andretti buy out the team. Oh, I do not want 8th gear. That was stupid. Alpine, I think all they can hope for is to finish best of the rest as such, or best of the back markers. There isn't really a rest anymore. Um, but yeah, if they can just beat out all those teams by the end of the year, it'll be seen as probably quite a good recovery. Which is appalling for a factory team, but that's the situation we're in. So we're still reliably taking time out of Evan. Of course, he might gain a little bit for a couple of laps, obviously, when he boxes for a second time. Um, but yeah, it's going to be odd. Well, come on in, Sammy. Hope you're doing well, mate. Twitch loves to place a good ad. I do have my ad set on the lowest frequency possible. Um, but yeah, Twitch still, unfortunately, does them. Try 
kind of a good track for Stroll and Aston. Uh, it might be a good track for Aston. Don't know if it's a particularly good track for Stroll. All I remember from Stroll in China was his first season where he crashed into someone really early on. I think it was Perez. The gap behind is now 8.9. Oh, that's a really stupid one, X. You cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. Like, you can see why this track is so good for motorbike racing, can't you? Just all these long, flowing corners. Yeah, well, what tracks are good for Stroll? If we get a list of those, that would be fantastic. Six cents out of ever that time. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 26 Celsius. Ooh. I can't please get out of the way. No, no, no. Why? God's sake, man. You've got to get out of the way there. Come on, blue flags, blue flags. Can't drive. Blue flags. It's a good job I lifted off so much going down in towards the S's. Because I was absolutely going to go through the back of him. Now, so that should make it easy. On your right. He's still there. Clear right. That was a one twenty three point eight. Give him a little weave of anger. But that definitely did cost us a lot of time that lap. Yeah, two seconds. Which doesn't sound a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it really is. Oh, nose in. Don't. Oh, I nicked the gravel there. We were lucky. We've gone out of track limits. Keep it between the lines. Start picking up loads of 1x's. Oh, yeah, we forgot to do the weekly Lance Stroll prediction, didn't we? I'm going to say P9, P10. P9, P9, actually. is now 12 seconds yeah this is the thing like don't get me wrong I'm not saying Stroll is not the worst driver ever to grace a Formula 1 grid or anything like that I think the problem most people have with him is that if he'd been anyone else that didn't come no <sighs> this is why I don't talk bad about Lance Stroll ladies and gents um, if he hadn't got the backing that he's got there's no way he would still have a Formula 1 drive. No one would have given him the amount of time he's been given. And that's, I think, what annoys a lot of people, of course, is the fact that you could get a driver in their rookie campaign or their second year that already would be quicker than him. Like, I reckon if Oscar Piastri in some world had gone to Aston Martin last year, he would have had the better of Lance pretty quickly. Lawrence Stroll did certainly just try it on then. I'm honestly staggered we kept that out of the wall. Oh, come on. I have definitely done some damage to the front tyres over that. <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about Lance.
like, uh, I, I guess the good thing is obviously with having Lance in the spot at the moment is it means that normally we've got an exciting thing for which of the slower teams can make Q3. But of course, unless one of the other nine drivers has mechanical problems, it's basically just him versus them for the last point. Uh, Kachuka, thank you for the follow, mate. Welcome on him. And like I said, he's not the worst ever F1 driver or anything like that. He's just been given far too much time to be as mediocre as he still is. Like, and people go, oh, yeah, but he has those flashes of brilliance. Really yeah, Alexander I could end up with a flash of brilliance at some point seconds. if I had eight years in Formula One. I think generally the most impressive thing about Lance, and of course, again, this came from his backing, but the fact that how young he made it into F1. Sergeant, I think, will probably get dropped at the end of the year. I think there's too much talk about it not to be a possibility or probability now. Which I get, of course, he's had a bit of a tough gig going in against Albon. But, you know, Albon's a good driver, but he's not also a world beater. Like, the fact that it's never really looked like Sargent has ever really had the better of him is a shame. Let's try and get that gap under 10 seconds to Evan soon. Because he's actually done very, very well extending this second stint. I have no idea what tyres he's on. And the 23-1. He goes to Prima. It might be Vesti. Could be Vesti. Um, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see him there. Although I feel like he might want to stay LMP2 or something like that. Could end up being Mick Schumacher. Who knows? Yeah, I think the weird thing, obviously, is with the Indy cars. Unless it's American driver, you're basically just asking who France is leaving the European kind of loop, if you will. And, of course, knowing that is very, very difficult. Unless, obviously, someone has specifically talked about it. Like, I'm excited to see how Porsche gets on. Like, Porsche this weekend is going to hopefully cook. Although he struggled to adjust the Super Formula first round there, so we'll wait and see. So I'm going to try and just take these mediums a little bit further, sort of like lap 42. Um, but I certainly feel like a set of softs to the end is going to be worth it. Pit lane doesn't actually cost you much here at all. So we're going to try and utilize that. But I am getting slightly nervous that Evan might try and go to the end. Yeah, I think that's the problem, isn't it, for a Fred Vesti is that kind of F1 dream now is over. I think the problem, of course, as well, is with a lot of them, is he just hasn't got enough hype behind him either. Like, unless you're a Fred Vesti fan, like, personally, you know, and this isn't just saying it because Jamie was a fan of him or anything. But, don't get me wrong, good driver. Could have had a season or two in Formula 1. But there was nothing ever to me that was screaming out that, like, he needs an F1 gig or anything like that. Uh, Shane, thank you for following me. On, or sub, even I should say, on YouTube. Come on, please move. Thank you.
I guess because obviously Teo was younger. Yeah, I think he had more experience in Formula 2, but... You know, Teo's kind of exciting to watch, I think, still. Or like an Ollie Behrman. Or a Kimi Antonelli. Not only have you got to have the skill to back it up, but you've also got to have the hype. It is, yeah, we're, we're racking up the laps really quickly. I've been quite impressed. Alexander in the gaps now, 12 seconds. So I think his size is starting to fall off a little bit more. Not actually that much. So it is just going to require a mega final stint, I feel. Maybe he's waiting to see what I do. Because obviously I was able to take those first ties really deep. But I say what, yeah, these mediums have held up really well. So unless we're able to set, like, 20s, 21s reliably towards the end, if he doesn't pit, it's not going to be easy to get to him. So do you... Ideal line through there, chap, does not involve taking the grass. Just going on the record. Gap's under 10, that's good. many back markers there are. Yeah, I think we've only got five of us on the lead lap. Five, maybe six. Oh, there we go. He's in. So we'll try and go one extra one then. We'll box end the next lap. But that's good then to know there is going to be a fight towards the end of this. I'm intrigued to know whether he's going to go mediums or softs. Because his softs fell apart much quicker than mine did. through that. Aww. Suddenly now we're getting a bit more understeer. I think it's just my driving this lap though. Oh, come on. I was hoping we'd go to do this race in under 10x. I don't think that's going to happen. So, for those of you that don't know, if you get up to 17x, you get a stop-go penalty, or a drive through I think, sorry. And then if you get to 25x, you get DQ'd instantly. You just get removed from the circuit. Yeah, team warning me about the times. That's normally a good indicator to peel in. Say, so we could have probably gone further had I not needed to do that save. Um, but yeah, so Evan, 21 seconds back. So, I don't think we'd be able to keep that lead to the end. Nice and early on the brakes this time. I mean, even that felt early, pits. but 37 mile an hour is a tough old pit lane. Yeah, I feel there's a lot. I think the problem, of course, now is that how many people um, are, you know, F1 caliber or deserve an F1 shot. You know, drivers have become so quick nowadays. No! Oh, I set another set of mediums. Damn it. Right, okay. It's not the end of the world. It takes it is clear. Don't cross the Ooh. line. Ooh. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, we'll have slightly better ties to the end, but if Evan's gone soft, that's going to be tough to beat. If we can just match him early on. Unfortunately, I can't even see what tyres he's on either, I don't the think. The guy behind has just done a 121.3. El Payne times three, yep. Yeah. I just never even thought about it. I'm going to give up, though. It's not the end of the world. We've still got the raw pace. And we know the mediums hang on. Let's just keep trying to methodically take time out of him. So, yeah, the one good thing about having those S's on cold tyres is they're very good at heating up new rubber. Oh, that's stupid. And there goes my 10x stream. It's 
Alexander, he's done a 20.1. Wow, so he's definitely on softs. Okay. He found Ferrari strategist for next year. I mean, to be fair, it might not be the end of the world. Might be that we don't gain much over these first few laps, but later on. I say these sides definitely got a lot of grip. Basically this lap we just need to clap back with another with a fast lap of our own. No, I thought I hung on the curb there. We've been warned about track limits. So even if this is a good lap, it won't count. Come on, I need DRS. I need DRS. I think we're just going to be in the range. Nope. Not quite. Fastest lap for Alexander on 20.0. Okay, yeah, he's flying. He's absolutely flying, chat. What were you going to do? 20.5. Damn it. Am I going to lose time this lap? Stuck behind this guy? All we've really got to hope for is that his softs fall off towards the end. You're reeling this guy in. The gap's now 0.4. Oh, we've got the run. Car left, clear left. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping he'd back out of that one. I could not afford to sit behind him. Move, right, come on. Go, 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 go. That's where you're from. Uh, I'm from the UK. Oh, that curb's lethal. Yeah, we'll take that. Welcome on in, uh, Yorkshire Gamer as well, mate. Hope you're doing well. P2. Yeah, we lost four tenths that lap. We need to start going quicker. Like I said, I would assume his tyres will fall off towards the end. Although he is obviously on much less fuel this time. And he's stuck in a little bit of light traffic as well, which is good for me. Oh. Got a big wash that time around. I flicked the car too far right before I tucked it in for the left again. And you just feel the front scrub. Oh, he's really getting held up. I mean, he'll get some DRS for free, but... We've got to hope we can try and get around them a little bit quicker. Because they are battling, to be fair, so it's a bit more difficult. I reckon, yeah, it's going to be close towards the end still. That lap was 22.6 for him. We ran 20.7, so we've absolutely got pace. Of course, he was held up, but... I did not want seconds, but we made it work. I think the key, of course, is just maximising the track width. You know, it really is just how wide can you make this place. Oh, 
someone to steer through that. The gap behind is now 5.9. Oh, there we go. A couple of them into the pits, which is good for me. Don't have to deal with the traffic. Your last lap time was that time we lost a tenth. And so we're going to require a bit of a miracle. Unless we can find something pretty special. And by hitting those sausage curbs, that's less likely to happen. Don't want to short shift back into sixth, but it didn't slow me down. That's the line I need through there. Just get the second little bit of bite. You're reeling, Alexander. In the gap yeah, even Mike Binnett, you never know. Seconds. Pressure of leading might get to him. But I'm not going to rely on it. Certainly not going to try and bank on it before the end of this. He ran a 20.9. We ran a 20.3. Those are the laps you've got to be doing towards the end. Your lap times are improving. This is good. I would love to have had a shot to try and take fastest lap, but I think unless we absolutely perfected it, we're going to struggle to do that. so satisfying as you build the confidence around here. Oh, he's made a mistake. Or has been held up again. No, he's definitely made a mistake. Gap down to five seconds. Crew Chief's actually been working quite responsibly today, but it's because it's quite a small grid, he doesn't get so confused. Evan's made another error, though, and he's stuck battling someone. It's so all the good news for us. But I've got to try and keep my instant count low, which is very, very difficult to do when you're pushing this hard around a track like this. Ten laps to go at the end of this one. Alexander, ahead is now 6.4 seconds. It will really depend on how much his tyres fall off. Towards the end of this, I think we'll decide our destiny. Fastest lap for Alexander, 120.0. Yeah, we never did get Max racing here properly, did we? I think it would have likely been P3. He's just on a 19.9? Okay. I gotta guess. Oh, it's because he had slipstream, wasn't it? Or DRS, even, sorry. I mean, it's still been a decent lap. Ugh. Somehow that's not a 1x, okay. Yeah, there you Just go. Just had a warning for cutting the track. 
That's annoying. You'll need to give back the time gained. Try and lose as little time as we can. Yeah, that's annoying. to Alexander. Ahead is increasing. It's now 7.4. Screw Chief. Yeah, I think he is. He was fine the first time I lapped him, but then ever since then he's not been that great. Might not even get to him at the rate I'm going. Keep driving like this. 21.2 against my... What time is that? 22.0. Damn it, man. I know we've still got the pace as well. That's what's annoying me. If we get every lap hooked up towards the end, we can get to him. Seems to definitely be getting held up a lot by lap cars, though. Seven that time we are gonna do a I reckon it's a low twenty one. Twenty one five man I say I'm not gonna give up until this race is finished, but the gap behind's increased to thirteen seconds. Alexander in front is now 5.5 seconds. What on earth is going on here? Yeah, this is going to be make or break for us. How quickly can we get around these lap cars? Sorry, I'm not reading chat much. Towards the end of this as well, we are really focusing up. Oh, one of them gets out of the way, which is good. 23 0. I don't think we're going to be much better, though. 21 5. Come on. Come on, move out the way. this man if he now backs out of it before the DRS Car right. did give Clear me the right. range to be fair thank you that's helpful the gap to Alexander. welcome on in Jurassic mate hope you're doing well we are in a very, very tense battle towards the end of this race, but...
unfortunately I messed up my second stint of tyres, so I'm not optimistic we're going to get there. Unless his tyres really do hit the cliff, and I don't do that. Come on. Yeah, that time around he was still setting at 1 minute 20. Come on, move, 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 move. Move, back out of it. Thank you. I could make a very good compilation of me getting angry at slower traffic today. That, that speeding penalty, I forgot about that. <laughs> that might be the difference maker. Take the car in early enough through that. The gap to Alexander ahead is now 6.7 seconds. Yeah, we need like a second and a half a lap now. Unless he makes one more error. I don't think that's going to happen. Even if we nail the laps to the end. He's just setting times that are good enough at the moment. 21.2. What are we going to do? That lap felt pretty decent. 20.3. We're still slower. Yeah, unless we were going to set mid to low 20s every lap and he has a couple of errors I don't think it's going to happen or say he makes an error but not holding my breath Getting held up though by Benjamin, so no idea what's happened to him. See, because he's normally pretty competitive. Oh, I wanted to get in the DRS, but it's not going to happen. I do now know what the Magello pit lane is like. I should have probably practiced that before, but there we are. I mean, why would the pit lane entry be so early? Like, it's nowhere near the tyres. He ran a 22-0. We ran 21-9. The gap to Alexander ahead is now 6.5. Oh, that was a lot of sausage kill. Got away with it though. Come on. Let me buy. Let me buy. Uh. What are you doing? It's so bored of the blue flags, man. Or lack of. Oh, I don't see he's going to get back out of the range. No, 
not quite. Yeah, the DRS helping him out has certainly been useful. I mean, it just makes up so much of a difference around here. Two laps to go, though. Say, unless he makes an error. Left side. Clear left. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Maybe he gets a puncture. I don't think that's even doable. Oh, no. That's my last instant point. Oh, and another slowdown. Yeah, there we go. For cutting the track. It's over. You'll need to slow down if you don't want a penalty. wonder how much time actually we lose through here. See, look at that. I didn't even have to slow down, really. Oh, I left it four through there. That was stupid. I mean, he absolutely deserves the win. It could have been a lot closer had we not made that mistake on the tyre choice, but he deserves to win this. He's been quick. He's been consistent. Uh, Benny Booth, thank you for the follow, mate. Welcome on him. You come just right at the end. As, oh, there we go. Ben snaps fast as that away from him, though. But One final lap then here together, from Magello. We'll it has been a good fun race, but say when you factor in the spin of a 15 second penalty as well, it's very easily should have been our race. But that's the way racing goes sometimes. Oh no. So I believe that's a 40 second penalty. Uh, which is going to cost us. <laughs> oh no. Unless I can serve it. No I can't. Can I? What is it? Drive through. Maybe I can. Final lap. Can I serve a drive through? I don't know. But it's definitely going to cost me. You've got three laps to serve this penalty. Oh man. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. i got to try and do the Ferrari strat now. But I don't know if the finish line's far enough gone. Look out for the pit speed limit. I don't know whether this will work, chat. <laughs> Come on. Go. I want to still try and beat people. If I don't get this to work, I'd throw myself so much time as well, by the way. No, it won't. Well done. Decent drive. Maybe? Disengage no. Demeter. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, I'm going to be like P5 in the end. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. It, it was a good fun race, to be fair. I enjoyed that. And I enjoyed streaming it as well. Um, you know, this was a little bit of a tester for, like, sort of more miscellaneous streams. Uh, so, we gained 44 I rating. Hashtag blessed. Uh, we lost 0 0.07 SR, though, which I'm a bit annoyed with. Um, but yeah, I think we got a 30-second penalty, I want to say. I think. Can I look at my personal result? I don't think I can. I don't think I can see it. It's the same. Event log. Um... I got 35 second penalty for it. So had we not pit, we would have saved ourselves about 18 seconds. Oh. Um, yeah, so I, it would have been mighty tight. I, we might just have been able to... Um, we might just have been able to hold on. Unfortunately, the incidents don't really work from this kind of race, DJ. You just get a lot of um, cars just blinking. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I can't really do that with these. Uh, thank you very much as well, Shrifterino. I hope you've enjoyed it, mate. Yeah, because what you find is whenever anyone disconnects, even if it's temporarily, it registers server end. As an, obviously, they don't get an instant point for it, but it registers as an instant point server side, um, which really messes things up.